Holy crap, I'm way too excited for today's video. <laughs> very not very enthusiastic um hello but welcome back to my channel <laughs> oh today 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 is very very exciting i went to ulta and sephora today and i picked up a little goodies including this guy <laughs> you're probably wondering emily why did you buy that palette don't you know that palette sucks Yes, I do. <laughs> Which is exactly why I bought it. The bad reviews made me so curious as to why this palette is so bad that I needed to get it for myself and see if I could make it work. If you guys have been following the makeup community as much as I have, you would know that ever since the subculture palette, which was supposedly supposed to be a sister palette to Modern Renaissance came out, there has been a huge uproar how this is the worst palette that Anastasia Beverly Hills has ever come out with. The claims on this palette are that it is so powdery that the, the kickback on it is ridiculous. So we're going to see if that's the case. Uh, the pros though is that it is insanely pigmented so you don't actually have to use a lot of product which is something that I'm also going to test out today. Besides the subculture palette, I also bought three of the Anastasia Beverly Hills new matte lipsticks. It's a Anastasia Beverly Hills review type of day, and I'm really, really excited, so let's just jump right into it. So, I love the box. I love the colors. I think it's beautiful. The colors in the palette seem to be really, really nice. I'm excited to use them and try them out. They're different. They're very fall-ish. I'm just gonna open up this little box here and see what we have. Okay, so nothing's broken. I just checked, nothing is broken or falling apart. This is the palette after it's taken out of the initial box. It has the same velvety feel as the Modern Renaissance palette. It is absolutely beautiful. The only thing I don't like about this velvet type uh, packaging is that it gets dirty really really quickly and there's like absolutely no way to clean it it's almost impossible with the little dual under brush same as the modern renaissance palette and then when you open her up ooh, okay they look okay they look like everything is where they should be we're all good all right so i'm gonna take roxy which is the shade that apparently has the most fallout all right there's a little bit but it's not insane, so I'm just gonna... Wow. So that's a shitty swatch, but it's insanely pigmented. And I hardly had any product on my finger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get right in here and start creating an eye look. So we'll see how well these guys perform on the eyes. Let's go in with Dawn. A nice transition shade here. And then just lightly... Very light. Do you see that? Do you see the fallout? Do you see the fallout? Do you see it? That is redonkulous. Holy moly. Packing that guy on my crease. And that is insanely pigmented. Insanely pigmented. There is more fallout than I anticipated, but um, that's okay. It's gonna lightly, lightly, lightly. And we don't need a lot of product at all because it is so pigmented. I think it looks gorgeous, so that's good. All right, let's go in with New Wave. Let's go in with New Wave. Actually, let's go in with Roxy. We'll go in with Roxy. That one is not as bad as Dawn fallout-wise. I can forgive the palette for that because a lot of par parrots, a lot of palettes do have fallout. And another one of everyone's uh, claims was that it did not blend well. I'm finding it to blend fairly easily. Let's go in with Fudge. Oh, I would have liked to use the blue on my eyes. You know what? Maybe I'll do that under my eyes. I'm just gonna... Oh. That is pigmented. Wow. Wow. I'm kind of I'm digging it. I'm not gonna lie. 
uh, I am kind of living. You really don't need to go all in on the palette because like I said, it is incredibly pigmented and lightly tapping on it and then sweeping it on your eyes will work wonderfully for you. I just had to blend a little bit more on the darker color, the fudge color, but not as much as I was expecting to. I'm gonna take All Star and see if I can put that in my outer V as well. Oh, it's giving my crease like a very like dramatic edge to it because you can see it is blending out like a dream. Guys, I'm kind of living. Oh, I might have I might have taken too much product there. No, no, I didn't. I just gotta blend it. I'm going to take Adorn, the very um textured and sparkly shade. I'm just gonna. Take that on my finger and swipe that. Ooh, okay. Definitely more uh, golden than I thought it would be, but that's all right. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. So I'm gonna go back in with All Star here. As you can see, you can tell where my brush went, but that's okay. And I'll just lightly tap, 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 tap. Lots of pigment. And go back in there just to blend out a little bit more. I'm gonna go back in with uh, Dawn and just blend out the color right here. I'm gonna go in with Axel, Axis, I don't know. We're gonna go in with the Axis here. Sweep it on my bottom lash. I'm not hating it, however, I need to just Blend this guy out a little bit more. I might have used just a little too much. Oh, let's see if we can fix it. I feel like I have a black eye. I don't know what I did. It's very, very dark. I don't know why. It's probably brown in there. Why does Cube have like no pigment? Why is that a thing? That needs to be less dark. I would like that to be less dark. Oops. BRB. Okay guys, so I fixed this eye and then I added uh, mascara and eyeliner and I have to say, I don't hate it. I'm actually really digging it. However, here is the tea on this palette. You guys probably already know this, um, but there is a lot of fallout. There is a lot of fallout, it's almost ridiculous. The pigmentation kind of makes up for it. And for the people that say that these shadows aren't easy to blend, I'm not really sure what you're doing with your eyeshadow, but no tea, no shade. Uh, but I found these shadows really easy to blend and the final product came out stunning. Actually, I'm honestly surprised at how well it looks on camera because in my own um, mirror, I was like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. but. Now that I'm seeing it on camera, I'm happy. My final thoughts on the palette is I like it. I don't hate it. I, I don't love it. It's not my favorite, but I love the colors and I'm, I'm definitely going to play with it more and see what else I can do with it. I am not mad at all. Let's get started on the new matte lipsticks. All right, so I bought three of the matte liquid uh liquid lipsticks no for once these are not liquid lipsticks these are matte regular lipsticks in a little tube i was so excited because they looked beautiful on instagram and online i got latte rosewood and midnight <laughs> because i need a dark dark black shade for my halloween looks don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet so i don't know why i made that all like suspicious all right so the first one i'm going to try out is a latte if i can open it oh oh, oh. so the lipstick tube is really elegant and beautiful it's got the logo on the top of it as well as anastasia beverly hills on the side okay Ooh, that looks 
<laughs> that looks really pretty. Mm. Should I swatch this on my lips? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. This is Latte, and I'm just gonna swipe it on my lips and see what happens. Really, the formula is super, super creamy, and it looks stunning. I'm happy about this. It's like a normal lipstick. It's, it's very easy to put on. It glides right on. Okay guys, I unfortunately am out of time. I would swatch all the rest of the lipsticks, but I gotta run. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below what you think of the subcut- uh, Leave a comment below on what you think about the subculture eyeshadow palette. I personally don't have any issue with it. You just have to use a very, very light hand and blend, 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 blend. And as far as the lipsticks go, they're just like a regular old lipstick. I think this color is beautiful. So I'm feeling this is going to be a uh, one of my favorites. One of my fall favorites. I'm going to wear it for fall. I don't have a lot of a classic lipsticks either, so these are really cool. Anyway, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and want to see more reviews. Maybe not as hurried as this one was. Also leave a like if you like my face and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye!